Good morning. Let us study in this class approximation methods in quantum mechanics. What is the need for approximation method? There are two approximation methods. Perturbation method, variation method, variation theorem. Okay. First we will study what is the need for approximation methods. The Schrodinger wave equation can be exactly solved for hydrogen atom or hydrogen like atom we have seen in the previous lecture we have seen previous in this class whereas on the other hand the Schrodinger wave equation for atoms for multi electron atoms that is beyond hydrogen atom cannot be solved exactly because why for example let us take helium atom it consists of uh, z equal to 2 the charge on the or charge in the charge on the nucleus is 2e and there are two electrons there are two electrons let us we can construct from this uh, diagram we can construct the hamiltonian operator we have already studied this how to construct this uh, hamiltonian operator for multi electron atom for poly electron atom in atomic in terms of this atomic units therefore h cap equal to minus the first two terms are the kinetic energy term for electron 1 and electron 2. The third and fourth term correspond to the potential energy for electron 1 and electron 2. In addition to this, there is an inter-electronic repulsion term. This is called perturbation term. This is also called a troublesome term. Because of this, see, because of this, the Schrodinger wave equation cannot be solved exactly. So, why the Schrodinger wave equation, because of this term, it cannot be split into two one electron equations. See, you have two electrons, the kinetic energy term and potential energy term are split into two one electron equations. Whereas, this cannot be split into one electron equations. Also, there is another reason because of uncertainty in the position of, according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle, there is uncertainty in finding the electron. Because of the uncertainty in finding the electron, okay, the position of the electron is not exactly known. Therefore, 1 by R12, the distance between the two electrons, where R12 is the distance between the E1 and E2 is not known exactly where R1 is the distance between the nucleus and the electron 1 where R2 is the distance between the um, okay where this is Z equal to 2 Z. So it is not possible to solve exactly the Scotting wave equation of multi electron atom. So there are two methods developed for the approximate for for the for finding the approximate solution of Schrodinger wave equation. This these are the two methods, perturbation method and variation method. In this class, we will study the variation theorem or variation method according to average value or expectation value postulate. According to let us apply the principles of uh, quantum mechanics according to average value or expectation value theorem average value of energy is equal to it is in terms of dielectric rotation it is in terms of the integral rotation since the wave function where psi is the wave function to describe the electron in helium atom or multi electron atom psi star is the complex conjugate okay x cap is the hamiltonian operator we have here given here for helium atom by applying the normalization condition, the denominator is equal to 1. This term is equal to 1. Therefore, the energy value is only this. You can write another step. I have given one step, you write in two or two steps. Now, according to variation theorem, according to variation theorem, this is the mathematical form of variation theorem. See, this is the mathematical, this is very important. According to variation theorem, the energy obtained is always greater or greater than or equal to E0. The energy obtained by this is always greater than the true ground state energy. 
true ground state. This is the true ground state energy of helium atom or multi-electron atom. This E is always greater than or equal to E0. When E equal to E0, see, when the energy obtained is equal to true ground state energy, if the thiol wave function, because the wave function is not known, see, the wave function for the helium atom is not known. Whereas, the wave function for hydrogen atom is exactly solved. We have already solved for hydrogen atom. This is the wave function of 1s orbital. 1s orbital. This is the wave function of 1s orbital of hydrogen atom. Since there are two electrons, since there are two electrons in helium, I have it is product, the product of two electrons. Okay. So this is the 1s orbital wave function. This is 1s orbital wave function. Now, so the, this is the trial wave function of helium atom. This is the trial wave function. We have used the hydrogen atom wave function. See, we have used the hydrogen atom wave function. Therefore, if the trial wave function is true wave function, then E equal to E0 because the wave function is known. In most cases, most of the cases, the true wave function is not known. It is not known. Okay. So, the energy obtained is always greater. Therefore, there are four steps used to minimize the energy to obtain the ground state energy. What are the four steps in the application of variation method? Let us see the four steps now. One, choose a trial wave function. See, we have chosen uh, a trial wave function from the hydrogen atom, which is exactly known. So, choose a trial wave function that depends on variable parameters. That depends on variable parameters. For example, the trial wave function is constructed from hydrogen atom wave functions, where Z is here, Z is equal to 2. But the effective neutral charge is not 2 because of the screening effect, because of the screening effect of one electron on the other, the effective neutral charge is not equal to 2. Therefore, Z is the, in the case of helium, Z is the variable parameter. So, the different choose the higher wave function that depends on variable parameters. For example, in the helium atom, Z is the variable parameter. Next. Step. Evaluate the integral. So you know the wave function, Hamiltonian operator, psi star, complex conjugate. So you can evaluate the integral. Evaluate the integral to obtain the value E, to obtain the average value E. Now, as I said earlier, the energy obtained is always upper bound. Upper bound. That is greater than the ground state energy. Therefore, minimize by using um, maxima or minimum. At minimum, the energy is lowest. The energy is the lowest. Therefore, minimize the energy, minimize the integral or minimize the energy with respect to variable parameter. By changing the variable parameter, the energy is lower. So that energy is equal to ground state energy. Okay? That is obtained by mathematical condition. Rho E by rho is then equal to 0. Rho E by rho is then equal to 0. Now, the optimized wave function, the optimized wave function with the optimum value variable parameter. For example, uh, the value of Z is uh, changing so that E value is minimum. Therefore, the optimized wave function with the optimum value variable parameter is the best approximate wave function. Best approximate wave function that is close to true wave function. See, the best approximate is the trial wave function thus obtained is called an optimized wave function with the optimum variable parameter is the best approximate wave function that is close to true side. With the this approximate this best approximate psi will give the lowest E value, will give the lowest value that is close to E0, that is close to E0. In the next class, we will apply these four steps to obtain the ground state energy of helium atom.
Thank you for watching.